Hey guys, welcome to List Stories with Vegas Paranormal. I get a whole bunch of different characters, okay? And here lately, I've been kind of working a lot longer and a lot harder because it's getting hot outside and I don't want to put my truck through a lot of stress because I don't like car drama. So, I've been working until like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning before it gets to like 100,000 degrees outside because when it gets hot in Vegas, it gets hot. Now, Saturday morning into Sunday, or no, Sunday night into Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday morning, I get a rider that does a two-stop. Basically, I pick her up, bring her to a location, and then drop her off somewhere. After I, you know, she does whatever she has to do at one location. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave this right here for you. Alright, so this is Saturday night into Sunday morning. And I'm on my way to pick up my last ride for the day. So this is the backside of Aria and the Vidora. This is where we have to go to pick up our passengers. Yeah, we have to do extra shit just to get to our customers. This is how this ride starts. Yeah. Thank you. Here, well, I have to slam the door. Where are we headed to? Now, she gives me her name, and then she gets in the car and slams the door, as you guys just heard. Now, I get it. People have a rough night, but if someone's talking to you, at least acknowledge them when they ask you a damn question. Now here's the thing about disrespecting your driver. Your ride is now going to go difficult because now that you have basically ignored me and not spoken to me, now the next part of this video is gonna go sideways for you. This was a two-stop ride. This was her first destination. Now she could, proceeds to go inside. That's fine. Doesn't say a word to me. She's like, I'll just be a few minutes. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Whatever. But here's where now it's my turn to be difficult. The click was me locking um, my doors. She needs a car seat. I'm going to have to end the ride because she needs a car seat. I cannot take her without a car seat. Okay, perfect. So instead of going out partying, why don't you take that money and put it towards a car seat for your child? Kudos to you, Mom. Great job parenting. Now, I explain in the video what, what's going on. But the fact that you get in my truck and you don't even acknowledge me when I ask you a question. I mean, I did say don't slam my door, but I said it nicely. I mean, I could have bitch, I could have been a bitch and like, why did you slam my door? But I was like, don't slam the door, you know, or you don't have to slam the door, whatever. Because a lot of people, they see the stickers and they still do it anyways. It's at this point, whatever. But whoever breaks it, they're going to be paying for it. So I hope it's worth their time. Second of all, I ask you a question and you completely ignore me. Okay, that's fine. So thing about that is when you disrespect your driver... Okay, go ahead. Now it's my turn to disrespect you. Because in that scenario situation, there was no need for all that. I asked, hey, I take it you had a rough night? Because she was shuffling around in the back doing something. I don't know. I don't really care. And she was like huffing and puffing. So I'm like, have a rough night? You know, like, you know, just to try to make it the ride ease, you know. But then you see, as I drop her off to the first stop, she barely has anything on. I mean, really, it's noticeable. She has, like, nothing on. It shows her... Yeah. Now, she comes to my, my truck with a child. No car seat, no nothing. 
but expects to get in my truck. So I locked the doors. I'm like, where's your car seat? I don't have one. No. Oh. So you can go out and party. You can go do whatever the fuck you were doing. But you can't get a car seat for your child. Yeah, priorities in this one, it shows. So, the midst of this video is like to basically share with you guys. Me personally, I've had enough of the disrespect between me personally being disrespected and my truck being disrespected to where I'm starting to stand my grounds and not giving a shit. You know, I, did, I told her in the ride, literally. She took off the second stop and then I ended the ride for her. Like, seriously people, your kids are more important than partying. Your kids are more important than barely, like buying clothes that basically cover barely nothing. You people seriously out here in Las Vegas that live here, you need to get your priorities straight. And the fact that I was getting ready to take you two to a hotel because you probably live there, I don't think you need to go out partying. I think you need to be looking for a home for your child. Anywho, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.